Welcome! You're watching the thrift store one day out of Waiting Hollywood Home on a budget. Last week, I penalized WWE's Hell in a Cell 2010 pay-per-view DVD for failure to play in my PC DVD ROM. Hopefully this week, the Red War brand can redeem itself with Backlash. This is rated TV-14. This was in the, uh, Attitude Era, Retribution Era, whatever era. It was before PG. Language, violence, and D, which stands for, I believe, detrimental family values. Especially when you consider Mr. McMahon's turn for the worse as a god of some sort. Yeah, god of wrestling, but not much else. God of media, yes, but not much else. But, yeah, somewhat of a god. He's definitely feared and needs to be locked up in a mental asylum. This was broadcast on Sunday, April 30th, 2006 from the Rupp Arena in Lexington, Kentucky. Three superstars that will do anything for the WWE Championship. Can John Cena overcome the odds and Edge and Triple H to keep sports entertainment's Richard Spies? And will Shawn Michaels receive divine intervention from his tag team partner assigned by Mr. McMahon, God, when he faces Mr. McMahon and his son Shane? Three words. Holy Spirit Squad. You want to see what happens? You got to pick this up. Nothing is more brutal than the backlash presented by war. The matches, the triple threat match for the WWE Championship. John Cena vs. Triple Edge vs. Edge with Lita at his corner. Shawn Michaels and God makes sense because Shawn Michael Higginbottom Michaels is of divine faith. He takes on Mr. McMahon and his son, Shane McMahon. Shane, here comes the money, McMahon. This is a Money in a Bank versus Intercontinental Championship match. Winner takes all. Warb, Van, Dam versus Selton Benjamin. And Miss Lady's matches include Big Soul versus Kane, Carlito versus Chris Masters to kick off the event, and Ric Flair versus Umaga with Armando Alejandro Estrada introducing Umaga. We have a WWE Women's Championship match to add some levity to this. Mickey James vs. Chris Stratus. And among other miscellaneous backstage segments adding levity to this event is the one with Max Stryker's classroom in the ring. This was during his peel phase at the time, but boy, did he do the WWE Universe a solid when he welcomed Eugene into the arena. Eugene is a beloved native of Kentucky. Money time is three hours, no close captioning, and uh... Really, a lot of great bonus features in here too, although they're not listed in the back. And mandatory WWE PSA before you begin the pay-per-view, don't try this at home. This played very nicely, no playback issues, no problems whatsoever. So, it's definitely uh, a redeeming uh, DVD considering last week's Hell in a Cell pay-per-view DVD from 2010, which again was given a zero. Uh, I'll leave the end card link and the link in the description below so you can check that out. Since WWE did not spoil any match result on the cover of this DVD, I am not going to spoil it for you here. If you want the full match card results, you gotta check out the link in the description below. I picked this up for $2.69 and for 50% off, and just like almost any WWE pay-per-view I bought, it was worth every penny. Considering the fact that I paid less than what you might pay for on pay-per-view when you bought this at the time. I give it a 5 out of 5. Flawless! And we do have more WWE pay-per-view DVDs on the way. We have Armageddon, we have Survivor Series, we have the 20th Anniversary of WrestleMania, and we have a special compilation DVD. 50 Greatest Fantasy Moves in WWE History. All great stuff to check out. However, should any of them fail to play, they will be subject to Backlash. By the way, I don't know of any other superstar in WWE that can make Jim Ross tear up. He and Jerry the King Lawler were commentators for this event. So Eugene, you get my special kudos of the day. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side.